the Fahrenheit temperature F of t of a heated object at time t in minutes can be modeled by the function below. F sub s is the surrounding temperature, F sub zero is the initial temperature of the object, and k is a constant. Coffee at a temperature of 190 degree, 195 degrees Fahrenheit is poured into a container. So that's actually our F sub zero. So uh, let me write that in there. So F sub zero is 195. And the room temperature is kept at a constant 68 degrees, so that's our F sub S. And K is equal to, neg uh, is equal to 0 0.05, so E to the negative 0 0.05. Coffee is safe to drink when its temperature is at most 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the temperature. Uh, after some elapsed time. To the nearest minute, how long will it take until the coffee is safe to drink? So we're looking for the value of T then here. So I've substituted in all the values that we know that's um, given to us in the problem. The only thing that we have to do is to isolate the time. So to do that, we are going to um, combine like terms and then uh, try to isolate T. In this problem, because we're dealing with an exponential equation and the unknown is in the exponent, we will need to use logarithms here. Okay, so let's subtract 68 from both sides. And if we do that, we will end up with, what is that? That is uh, 52. Yes, we'll end with 52. Uh, 195 minus 68, that is, uh, what is that? That is 195 minus 68. I am having brain freeze all of a sudden. 195 minus 68. 127. There you go. Okay. So this is going to be 127. E to the negative 0.05 T. All right. And then we're going to divide both sides by 127. So I have E to the negative 0.05 T is equal to 52 over 127. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Because we're dealing with base E here, it just makes sense to work with natural log. So now that we got the equation to be in this form, we're going to apply the power rule for logarithms. And the if, if we have a power inside the argument of a log uh, expression, that power becomes a coefficient. So that becomes negative uh, 0.05 t natural log of e is equal to natural log of 52 over 127. And since ln of e is an identity, it's, it's 1. This becomes negative 0.05t is equal to ln of 52 over 127. Let's divide both sides by negative 0.05. We end up with t is equal to negative 1 over 0.05 ln of 52 over 127. Let's enter that into the calculator. So go to our calculator. So I have natural log of 52 over 127 divided by negative 0.05. And that would be 17.86. So 17.86, uh, it says to the nearest minute, so that would be approximately 18 minutes then. And if that's the case, then that's option four.